stand by to listen to a career podcast from the College of Media and Publishing. Don't forget we have online courses in proofreading, journalism, writing and marketing. Visit our website for full course details. You'll find us at collegeofmediaandpublishing.co.uk. There you can also download our brochure and claim a free copy of our ebook called Career Booster. Once again that's all at collegeofmediaandpublishing.co.uk. My name is Clarence Tom and I'd like to speak about your CV's body language. It still astonishes me how talented and intelligent people can produce such dreadful CVs. I work with people on the most weeks and I'd say most are absolute shockers. The CV is potentially one of the most important documents you'll produce in your life. It should take you many hours and maybe up to ten revisions before it's good enough to send anywhere. And yet so many look as though they've been knocked up in a hurry and probably have been. Now there's masses of information on the web about CVs along with templates you can download and adapt and there's nothing I can add to that really although do email me if you'd like a free copy of my tips file. But one aspect I'd like to talk to you about is your CV body language and that's a subject you might not come across too often on other sites. You may wonder what I mean by that. There's more to the CV than the paper it's written on and the things that it says. It also gives an underlying impression about you and employers find that extremely revealing. When I was a boss I used to take more notice of the CV's body language than I did the content, certainly in the early stages, because I knew that the content for somebody applying for a particular job, well they'd all be pretty much the same, but it was the body language that really differentiated one from another. Now I often find that the CV's body language completely contradicts a lot of its content and that's where people run into problems. Let me give you some real life examples so you can see what I mean. I've changed the names here. Now Christopher said in his CV that he was skilled in using desktop publishing software but to be honest his CV looked like it had been designed by a 13 year old using publisher really badly. So to me that completely disqualified any claims he had about being a good desktop publishing operative. Leslie said she had a keen eye for detail yet her CV contained a typo and three style errors. So obviously she didn't otherwise she wouldn't have well, she would have spotted those things. I know many employers particularly in the media and journalism fields who will bin a CV if it contains any errors at all spelling, punctuation, style because those are the qualities that somebody's going to need in their job. Now Mohammed said he had a good eye for design but his CV was literally one slab of text and was horrendously dull to look at. Ian said he was thorough and yet stated references available on request on his CV. Had he been that thorough he would have included them in the first place rather than put the potential employer through the trouble of asking him for them. Samantha boasted about her excellent writing skills but her CV read like an estate agent's property specification and it was really hard to follow it. Javina said she was project orientated and enthusiastic but her CV conveyed an apathetic couldn't be bothered attitude. It didn't shine or in any way convey a mild sense of enthusiasm or the fact that she saw it as a worthwhile project to make look good. Daniel said he was a good project finisher but crammed his perfect CV in an envelope and addressed it in handwriting that came straight from an infant school and put the stamp on upside down and didn't stick the letter up properly. So much for his finishing skills. 
Litz says she's comfortable working in social media, but her CV made no reference at all to her blog, her Twitter feed or anything else that she did online. And I could go on. So body language is about the message that your CV conveys alongside the words. And in my experience, most CVs I see say one thing, but convey something entirely different. And bosses see straight through them and usually bin them or certainly don't give them any priority. So my tip is that when you come to do your CV, make sure it matches who you are as well as explaining what you could do and there shouldn't be any disparity between those at all. Thanks for listening. Check out our website for more free downloadable podcasts at collegeofmediaandpublishing.co.uk There you'll also find more information about the online courses we run in proofreading, journalism, writing and marketing. For full details, go to collegeofmediaandpublishing.co.uk. Thank you.